Hey guys, I'm Devin Zalima, and today I want to talk about something very important. In light of the situation that's happening currently at Columbia College Chicago, my college, I want to talk about some things that aren't talked about that much. If you don't know what I'm talking about with Columbia right now, you can Google it, uh, hashtag Save Columbia, or uh, hashtag Save Columbia on Twitter, anything like that, you'll get a lot of different tweets from a lot of very angry students about different things. Um, and I'm not really going to go into that because personally, I don't know how I feel, so I don't know that I can articulate it appropriately, but I do want to talk about some things. For your enjoyment, here are 10 things that no one really tells you when you're graduating college. You won't hear from every job that you apply to. They won't even say a thanks but no thanks. There is no common courtesy when it comes to applying for a job. Um, and if you get a thanks but no thanks, that means that if they have an open position again, you should probably apply for it because they're probably good people. Sometimes it depends on who interviews first. Seriously, if you interview for a position before someone else, you might get that job. But if someone's more qualified and they're going to be interviewing after you, you still might get that job. You're going to have to start paying back those student loans whether you have a job or not. Oh, and that doesn't even get into the thing of if you aren't paying them, then maybe they'll start garnishing your wages and they'll start basically taking money from you so that you can't do anything except pay that bill that's coming every month. There are a lot of people out there who are looking to take advantage of recent college graduates. They're looking for free work and they're looking to basically offer something as experience for them without paying the college graduate and then they'll just cut you off. From an employer's perspective, just because you did well in school doesn't mean that you'll do well in their job and sometimes vice versa. You could have been a straight C student and you might land a really big job. It really just depends on a lot. So this is one of the things that I want to talk about, about what it does depend on. It depends on how well and how effectively you communicate how good you would be at a job. If you can't do that, you might as well have never graduated. You might be wondering, should I get a master's degree? Is that something I'm going to need? Well, just so you know, no one has an answer for you. It's really frustrating in a way because I don't know if I should get a master's degree. I feel like I can read as much as I can and everyone's just going to end up telling me, well, it depends on what you want to do. Well, what if I don't know exactly what I want to do? What if I don't know everything that I'm going to do for the rest of my life, whether I need one or not? Sorry, you'll have to figure it out as you go. The politics that you might see in your department in the school will most likely follow you outside of the school, unfortunately. And, you know, it's in a way, it's kind of preparing you for the quote-unquote corporate real world because there are these games that you will have to play in order to move up the ladder and earn more money. And yeah, it's soul-sucking, but unfortunately that's the way it is right now. And maybe it won't be all the time. That would be awesome. Nine times out of 10, it's about who you know, not who you are, which is really messed up when you think about it. Seriously, I could be the best writer ever. You know, I could write the next great American novel, but if I don't know anyone who's willing to distribute it and publish it, and I'm not able to put in the work for myself to get it out there, then my craft and my art might never be seen or appreciated for what it is. And lastly, just because you have a college degree, as in a bachelor's degree, doesn't mean that you're going to be qualified for an entry-level position. That's something that was never, ever told to me. Because seriously, a lot of entry-level positions are telling me right now that you need three to four years experience in the field already which is hard to get when no one will give me that experience. So it's really frustrating. I mean, yeah, you can say, well, I did it in college, but again, it goes back to, can you communicate that effectively? Can you communicate that you've done this amount of work for X amount of years so that they understand that you do have that experience and people aren't just going to assume that you do just because you have a college degree. 
makes no sense, but that's just how it is right now. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. Um, I know that this is a touchy subject. I think that a lot of college graduates and as we are all graduating and moving forward, there are a lot of these questions that are coming up. And I feel like I had a lot of preconceived notions about what it was going to be like to graduate from college. And a lot of them have been squashed, which is a good and a bad thing. If you are someone who's about to graduate from college, uh, comment below with any kind of like questions that are coming up in your head or things that you learned. I want to know because maybe it'll help us all as a community kind of expand our brains and you know we'll be able to be more successful and more prepared as we take this next step in our lives because unfortunately not all of us have been prepared to do so. I love you guys so much and uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Later. It's finally here.